all right welcome back to another gundam arsenal based video today we're going to be looking at a ranked match that i recorded pretty recently uh we're getting down to the end of season three of arsenal based link stage that is the the current version of the game and it's about to enter its fourth season and the last season of the year and we'll see if there's going to be a link stage season five or if it's going to get another refresh uh we don't know but anyway i finally got a chance to sit down and record a match of this game which like i said in the previous video uh i'm kind of the uh not stopping playing this game but i just don't play it as much because it is expensive and the price of things has gone up quite significantly here in Japan, so... But anyway, the match has started, and this time I just wanted to uh, kind of mess around a bit, because I went to the game center with my friend, and I didn't want him to just, like, you know, sit there as I play this game super seriously. Uh, and, like I said in the previous video, I haven't really been playing it that much. I've been getting the common and rare and M rare cards of each season, but I haven't been getting uh, uh, the parallel and, like, uh, the super super rare cards i haven't been getting those so definitely not a meta match that you're going to see here uh, so the first thing that i do want to mention here is that the units i chose are actually uh, mostly common and rare units uh, i believe the lightning gundam is an m rare but that's fine and i decided to use these because like i said i just got these out of the recycle box and i kind of let my friend just kind of choose like five characters and five mobile suits and this is what <laughs> this is what came out and I, I don't think it's too bad, it's a pretty solid choice. Uh, my friend knows nothing about Gundam or this game, by the way, he just... He was just there. <laughs> we were just hanging out. Anyway, we got our Lightning Gundam with Laughter as a red attacker. She's going to be taking on the Sinanju on the left side. And we also have Demurasai as my base attacker with Quest. Quest, I believe, is only about a one-cost blue uh, base attacker. And I just wanted to put her with the Demurasai because why not? <laughs> <laughs> I needed a base attacker and she has a decent stats for long range. We're going to activate the Lightning Gundam's SP attack. It does a solid amount of damage, but but nothing too special. And then we're going to go ahead and keep things going. They have deployed a full frontal with the Zeta Gundam. I don't believe this is the Biosensor version. I think the Biosensor version is glowing pink. That's how you can tell them apart. But we're going to use Akihiro in the Banshee, the melee version of the Banshee that's in this season. Uh, the Banshee still hasn't really gotten a, a shining card at this point, but we like the Banshee. We like Akihiro, so we wanted to use both of them. We're going to activate one of our uh, one of our personal abilities. Uh, I forget what they're called off the top of my head all of a sudden. We're going to activate the ability and get a repair and a damage boost going for all of my units. Chuju has gone down. She was in one of my red attackers in the Throne Dry. Now the Throne Dry I'm using is just the common variant, so it's not very good. There is a Emrare variant, which is a little bit stronger. We're going to put down the Strike Gundam. The This is actually the water variant that has a bazooka. Uh, it gets a speed boost in water, but... We're going to put it down to help defend this base. Akihiro's out on the field, so he'll take the, the red attackers and the extra damage that's going to come off of. My defender will be just fine enough because Akihiro should be able to hold his own and keep the, uh, keep the enemy red attackers from attacking my defender. And I'm not going to lie, for a while I thought this match was a bot match because it was so low level and the team composition is pretty weird, kind of like mine. Uh, but then I realized very quickly, so, oh, this is a real person. <laughs> anyway, we have quests available, so we're going to try to get that last bit of damage on this base. We're going to put out Lieutenant Burning in the Sinanju on the left side again. I'm just kind of letting that left side happen. Whatever happens, happens. It's fine. Uh, the Throne Ein on their side was taken out. Thanks to the combination of a hero and uh, I believe his name is Mikayo Mihayo. I I don't know the the older brother's name. I don't remember it anymore. From uh, Gundam Double O, the Throne Gundams. So Andrew's going to use his SP attack. It shouldn't do too much damage, but we'll see. Yeah, it didn't do quite enough damage, but it was enough to get rid of the Lightning Gundam and Laughter on that side of the field. So we'll have to 
prepare a little bit of defense for it whenever it's ready. Ink Quest has taken down the right side base on their end, so that's good for me. Now we don't have a, a base in the way, so we can kind of pressure them a bit to defend their main base. We're going to activate one of my Witch for Mercury abilities. I believe this ability reduces the repair time of red units, so that's why I can get Laughter out on the field, or have the option of putting Laughter back out on the field so quickly. But we're going to use Choo Choo because like, we're going to need to see Choo Choo in action. This is my favorite Witch for Mercury character, so I'm going to use her. Uh, they're going to activate an ability that increases their melee damage. It's one of the Iron Blood Orphans abilities from the very first season of this game. Quest is going to activate an SP attack and we should get a pretty solid hit on the space because I believe it's undefended. But yeah, season 4 for this game is coming up pretty quickly. It should be happening uh, next week if I'm, if I'm correct. They haven't really announced it yet, but usually the seasons begin on the 24th-ish. 23rd, 24th is uh, whenever they're doing a new season. And they've already announced the theme of the next season is going to be Gundam Seed Destiny, as well as Gundam 00, uh, not 00, 0083, I believe, 0083 War in the Pocket. No, it's 0080 War in the Pocket, sorry. 0083 Stardust Memory. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, those two series have been announced. They haven't shown any of the cards that will be included for Seed Destiny, but uh, it, the highlighted visual is the Sword Strike. Not Sword Strike, uh, Impulse. The Impulse with the Sword Kit. So I think we'll get a heavy hitting melee Impulse Shin Asuka Gundam, sadly. <laughs> No Destiny, I don't I don't think the Destiny Gundam is going to show up in the, the initial season, but uh, maybe next season it will, or maybe they'll save it for next year. The other thing that's showing up is going to be the Alex, the NT1, the High Gog, which I'm super hyped about, because the High Gog getting a super rare variation is something I wasn't expecting, but I'm really looking forward to it. It doesn't look like it's going to be too amazing, but I am <laughs> expect to see it on, if I get the chance to get it and record a video. Laughter is going to use an SP attack, it should be a pretty solid hit. But yeah, like I said, one of the things I wanted to do in this match is just uh, highlight uh, some of the common cards and see what I can do with them, because this game is very meta-focused, and if you're not using the meta, you're probably not going to win. And I managed to, get, to eke out a win with this team, even though it just kind of randomized. So. Oh yeah, and the other unit that is coming is going to be the Camper. I believe it's already in the game as like a Link Stage rare card, but it's not very good, so people don't use it. But it seems like the camper is going to be coming, and it'll be so-so, it seems. It'll be decent. And of course, with these, the pilots are coming as well, so look forward to that. But yeah, this match is this match is over. I won with just a randomized team, and as you can see, I haven't really used any of these characters. I haven't really been playing. That's why you see them leveling up here, like, from level 1 and 2, so... But yeah. Uh, like I said, I've been taking a step back from this game because it is expensive 200 yen per match then 100 yen per extra card you draw and then 200 yen for any special card that you want it's expensive and it's basically kind of like a mobile gacha system so where you lock in events and whatnot and there's lots of for money events where you pay a thousand yen to get promotion cards I haven't done those either so i got some catching up to do but anyway thanks for watching this video expect to see some more gundam arsenal base on this channel but don't expect like a flood of it. <laughs> uh, this is a bit ranty, I kind of wasn't super focused, but I just wanted to put something out there for the people who've been asking about Gundam Arsenal Base. The guide has been updated with Season 3 and 2 of Link Stage, so look at that if you're curious. And yeah, I hope to see you again next time for more Gundam goodness, Arsenal Base, uh, some Japan arcade exclusives if I see any more that are interesting. And yeah, all that extra stuff. Like, sub, and I hope you have a good day. And watch my reviews. Leave a comment on the reviews, too. <laughs> anyway, I hope to see you again next time. Peace out. Good game. Good night. Be safe out there.